Hey folks, uh, it's you once again and I want to welcome everyone back to another Jean-Claude Van Damme movie review and of course I'm gonna review today Maximum Risk which I do have a Blu-ray and this is always one of my favorite Van Damme films um, it was the first movie that I got on VHS tape my mom bought me VHS tape on my request and I did got this film. I did got this film on VHS tape. The, this one and Bloodsport were the only movies that I own on VHS. Don't have the VHS anymore. I throw it away seven, eight years ago. But I do got the Blu-ray. So I just watch it again. And Maximum Risk is one of my favorite movies from Van Damme. Even in the action films. Yeah, it's one of my favorite action films. It's an action thriller directed by Ringo Lam and written by Larry Ferguson. Um, yeah, and uh, it was actually the first movie of the Asian director in Golam, and of course, just like Hard Target, it was actually John Woo's first American movie. This is actually first American movie by Ringo Lam, and this is actually the first direct to di to direct to video movie from J JCVD that we got. Um, this uh, this movie was not not released in um in the movie theater. On IMDb it's written that this is actually the last, uh, this is actually the first movie not to be released until uh, the expand was 2012, but they actually kind of wrote uh, um, wrong, uh, uh, not right, they actually did not wrote correctly, they made a mistake because uh, Universal Soldier The Return was actually the last movie, uh, the last movie released in the movie theater until JCVD 2008. That was the next movie that was released in movie theater and then of course The Expendables 2 2012. Those are actually, I'll say those three movies were released in movie theater for JCVD. This movie was actually a box office disappointment. The budget was cost for, for, the, for making this movie 27 million dollars but, uh, but only earned 40 million dollars which is actually less money than they actually even used to make this movie so it was a box office disappointment and was uh, released uh, directly on DVD I got on VHS tape and I'm glad I got it this one and Bloodsport are the only one that I own and yes this is one of my favorite ben uh, favorite Van Damme movies it is in my top 10 favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and I'll say his best film in my opinion my opinion some people say Sudden Death is his best. I think this, this movie was better. You know, this is how you do a movie, Mr. Van Damme. This is how you do a movie, Mr. Van Damme. And uh, this movie has, has it all, you know, Russian Mafia, um, FBI agents, I mean, corrupt, corrupt FBI agents, explosions, car chases, martial arts, fires, uh, gun, gunfire, uh, gunshots, a few martial arts, I mean, titties. Natasha, Natasha Henstridge in her third role, she has tits, we see Natasha Henstridge with her sexy tits, I love the girl so much, this is a sex bag with tits, you have nudity, you have sex scenes, tits, fight scenes, action sequences, which is awesome, I mean this is how we do a movie, this is actually the first collaboration between Van Damme and Ringo Lam, they did Replicant and, um, and In Hell, which I do have those two films, I'm gonna review soon those two films when I came to um, but yeah, this is actually the, the this is actually their first collaboration and I'll say this, I'll put this movie above Replicant and In Hell because I love this movie more for the action, I love more Natasha Henstridge I love uh, Ghosts of Mars in which she had a main role and a lot of people hate Ghosts of Mars because it's directed by John Carpenter and it's my favorite Carpenter film not number one, but it is my favorite one you know, and Natasha Henstridge, uh, not only that she's uh, good looking, that she's uh, attractive, that she's beautiful girl, beautiful actor, she's also a nice person, I mean, she did an uh, audio commentary for um, Ghost of Mars, and even that the movie w was got so many crap on it, and it wasn't like people expected, she still did an audio commentary, so she's a nice, she's a nice human being, a nice actress, I mean, at least that's how... I see her, you know. Um, so Maximum Risk talks about um, Mikhail Suvarev, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme, in his, in his uh, two roles. 
Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme in this movie plays two roles. One of them is Alan Murau. He's a, a French police officer. And the second one is actually a Russian gangster, Mikhail Suvarev. In the open scene, we have a Mikhail Suvarev looking into France in Nice, his brother, um, Alan Murau. But uh, he's been chased by those two guys. Uh, later, it turns out they're actually FBI agents. And they're corrupt FBI agents, you know. Um... Um, Agent Perlman and, and uh, mm, whew, I forgot the, the guy, um, one was Agent Perlman, the other one, I don't know who the fuck was the other one, um, um, I guess I didn't know correctly, well, doesn't matter, um, yeah, by two, uh, he's been actually pursued by, uh, he's actually been pursued, he's actually been pursued by one of those, uh, one of those agents, you know, that's one of those, uh, that's actually one of those, uh, one of those agents, um, the two corrupt FBI agents. Um, he's been pursued and gets a Mikael during the, uh, during the, uh, car chase, you know, when he steals the, that vehicle, uh, the, 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 the bike with, uh, with the veggies, veggies, uh, with the, uh, with the fruit and he's, uh, and he's running away. He gets killed in a car accident. He lands in a car accident, gets killed. And we see Alan Murrow, who's now a cop, um, on the funeral, his friend Sebastian, um, Played by um, uh, by 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 John Hughes and Glade, who's his partner, shows up, and uh, he was really happy to see him. And uh, they found his uh, his twin, his twin brother. And uh, Alan Murrow, he's a marksman. He was in military. Did not know that actually he had a he had a brother. So uh, he finds that through his uh, mom Chantel Murrow that. Uh, that you that she did born two uh, brothers, two twins, but uh, she had to, because she could, couldn't get the money, she gave the, the 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 baby to adoption, and it was I think was uh, uh, was a Russian couple that adopted the, the baby, you know, by a lawyer who gave her the money. So Mikhail, so Alan uh, Murau decides to investigate the dark past of his brother. And he goes to, I think it was in Paris, he goes in Paris um, to the lawyer and then we, then we found, then he founds the burning office and you see that guy with the red face, uh, Stefanos Milsakaksa, Milska, Milska, <laughs> I can't pronounce his name. Um, but yeah, but that guy, you know, red face, he, he, uh, uh, he goes, um, um, and burns the office of the lawyer because uh, because because Alan Mura was investigating the case. So Alan he goes he he finds the the secretary alive and we see a fire, a real practical effects, very well done. And uh, the guy shows up, you know, and Van Damme saves the woman, but he gets in a fight with uh, with, with red face, you know. And the guy shows him out of the window, but Van Damme catches himself, you know. Um, he goes and catch himself and jumps on it and kicks the guy in the face and there's still a fire scene but the guy escapes and he saves the, the, the secretary and uh, because Alan wants to know more about his brother he uh, travels back to New York in, to find his dark past and uh, while he more investigates you know he finds out that uh, Alex Bohemia you know called him but there, the, but, but there's so many <coughs> Alex Bohemia, he means this Kabi. This Kabi tol talks about the novels that he's writing and he asks him, uh, can you find an Alex Bohemia? He said, oh sure, there's thousand Alex Bohemia in, in, in New York. <laughs> New York is a big city. <laughs> but he, but, uh, when then he goes, um, to this, uh, to, to this building, um, I think was in this building that, uh, Mikhail was staying and there are like few punks messing with him. And uh, this janitor tells him to get hell out here, and then they go, and the, 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 that black kid says, he's the chump, <laughs> I love that he's the chump, you know, and of course they actually go, uh, he you know, finds out, you know, the janitor tells him that he was actually a Russian gangster, his brother was a Russian gangster, 
and he tells that there's a club in Bohemia, so when them goes with a taxi, with a cabbie, uh, finding this, um, he goes to find this, um, what's called, um, club Bohemia, and he shows up, and we see, uh, while he's uh, in the club, you know, Natasha Hansen shows up and tells uh, Mr. Su, uh, 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 Mr. Suvereu, um, uh, uh, you have a phone, and uh, right, right in, uh, when he goes to, to get a phone call, you know, she grabs the Van Damme and starts kissing him. I love the, 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 roman the romance scenes between Natasha, I love the bond between Natasha Hansen and Van Damme, that they work well together in this film. And uh, she still thinks she, uh, he's Mikhail, so uh, she gives him um, the, the keys for that hotel. So when them uh, leaves, and like three guys, you know, I didn't know this guy, it's the bald guy, Dan, uh, Dan Moran, who plays Yuri, you know, the bald guy with two guys shows up, and uh, they attack, and when them uses all the martial arts, kicks them everyone's ass, and this is what I'm talking about that it was actually missing and sudden death. In this movie, uh, one of the guys jumps on the hood of the car and then them makes a split, you know, he makes a, a spin kick with a leg, just like in the hard target, just in hard target, it was slow motion, this movie is fast. The camera shows the ankle of the fast and then them use a spin kick and kicks the guy right in the legs, the guy lands on the hood. You know, that, that's how, that, that is actually the, the uh, that's actually the trademark of Van Dam. Not like it was, not, not like that he jumps, uh, that he jumps with a foot, you know, like in, like a wrestler. That's not his trademark, that, that's not the trademark of Van Damme. This, this how they did that, you know, when, when he makes a spin kick and kicks the guy in the legs, you know, and the guy falls on the hood. That's how Van Damme does. Watch Hard Target and watch this movie. You know, this is how he does correctly martial arts. This is how Van Damme does correctly. And this guy, you know, gra uh, grabs uh, from the the dumpster the that um, the the the, the who, how you say the the um, uh, the that thing like a frisbee, you know. And he shows it. It's like <laughs> you know, this is a lucky day. And um, when then goes to the to the apartment, and because the room is actually uh, uh, taken, so when then goes to the next room. And Alex, uh, um, Natasha Hanstrich shows up, you know, Natasha Hanstrich shows up and she starts, uh, uh, she starts kissing and she wants to have sex with him. But Van Damme uh, refuses and says, I can't do it. Um, I'm his brother, Mikhail is dead. And um, the, those Russian mobsters shows up, you know, and they start tearing the place. And when they go to the next room, there's empty. And the, the motel owner tells us actually room 305, they go 305, when them and Natasha Hanstrich are actually on the roof running, and that's so beautiful, you know, Natasha Hanstrich is so sexy, and they run the roof, and uh, when them uses, uh, uh, when them uses a stick and breaks the, the lock, you know, he goes and breaks the lock, and uh, when them then he goes, he runs, you know, they actually go on the, this club, and there's like, uh, they're, they're like those three mo mobsters, you know, one of them was um, Zagrinier, who plays Ivan Zasko, a, a Russian gangster, they start firing at Van Damme, and they go, uh, they actually uh, go, <clears throat> they actually, uh, they actually go, there's also this guy, you know, red face shows up and fires on the cabbie, but Van Damme, you know, and the cabbie, they escape, but Sally, uh, the, ca the cabbie, um, Van Damme's friends, you know, gets shot, you know, he gets shot and gets killed, and they crashed, and, and I love when Van Damme shows the remorse that his friend died, you know, I love that in this film, and he asks uh, uh, ask Natasha Hansen for help, at first she refuses, but then she goes with him, and then we also find out that, that the reason why it's actually uh, about this film is actually the hunt for the list, Mikhail Suvero had a list in which they're actually corrupt FBI agents and all the members of Russian Mafia, all the members who are working for Russian Mafia from the FBI, the FBI agents kill them. And their superior officer to those two guys, you know, tells them, you guys, make sure that this one is alive, get the list, you know. And uh, I, do, I doubt there's actually triplets. That's actually a trademark to um, uh, to um, Saint Segal's Man for Dead. When Segal kills uh, Screwface and says, 
I hope they run triplets. In this movie, you know, the guy, the, the superior officer says to those two agents, I doubt that they're triplets, you know. So I don't th I do think it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of um, um, trademark to to see cigars marked for that, you know. But Van Dam did a great job in this movie. And those two agents, such as the hunt for the, uh, this actually the hunt for the list. Two, cro two corrupt FBI agents wants the list, while uh, well Ivan wants to became the 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 head of the of the Russian uh, uh, Ra um, uh, Russian mafia, and he wants to kill Van Dam because Mikhail Suero knows too much, and he also wants to kill um he wants to kill um. Oh, I forgot that guy. The, the the head of the man of the mafia, um, played by by David Hamblin. I forgot the head of the mafia. I forgot his name. I think it was Piotro or what is his name. Anyway, um, so when them, you know, he meets, he goes to, when them with Natasha Hensrich goes to his uh, to Mikhail's apartment, and uh, this this guy shows up and when them, uh, when them goes and kicks his ass and um. Of course, there's the bald guy who shows up and then goes and another thing goes and kicks his ass, uh, throws him in the in the jacuzzi, grabs the the mirror, stands punches him, and Yuri asks no, and then then sees his uh, his angry face in the mirror, so he stops, you know, and no, then then does not kill Yuri, he does not kill the bald guy, he went out, he deserves it, but he does not kill him, you know, and then um, then and then uh, then and Natasha they go. Uh, to this cabin, they spend together, but the FBI, FBI agents show them and they ask him to, to ask him to go with them, uh, to go with them into in the knees to get the, uh, to get the, the list. But when them refuses, and those two guys shows up to corrupt FBI agents, when them kicks their both both asses, he goes and and uh, uses the um, the um, the hand uh, the the handcuffs and he uh, and he locks them. And now uh, Van Dam and um, Natasha, they actually they both go um, to uh, back to Bohemia's club, and Van Dam goes to um, Van Dam. Uh, he goes uh, into um, he goes um, um, he goes uh, uh, into the club, and he asks Yuri to to to, uh, to uh, bring him to the uh, to the the head of the mafia. He they, he brings them. They go to the head of the mafia. And then we saw the sauna scenes, which when them tells they try to kill him, and Mikhail is dead, you know. And uh, Ivan uh, gets now pissed because uh, the the his boss uh, uh, fired him, and uh, he ordered a hit on, on his boss, you know. And of course, Redface shows up and, and stabs the guy, you know, right? Stabs him, when them fights him, and then we have a great fight scene, and that's how when them does. That's when damage. Yes, th this is actually. This is actually prepare for maximum van damage. This is actually maximum van damage because uh, we see van dam in the towel and the guy uh, played by uh, Stefanos Miltsakakakis. Um, he's uh, they both in the towels, you know, naked, and they fight. You know, they fight each other. The fight scenes are actually were actually well excellent cho choreographed, in my opinion. They're well, well done. I, I think, in my opinion, I didn't see stunt doubles, you know. I did not even check. I did not saw stunt doubles in this movie. And this is how Van Damme does, you know. He fight the guy, almost beat him, but then gets shot by Ivan because Ivan goes and shots his boss, you know. He goes and shots him in the chest in the head uh, with his gun, with his, with his 38 special. And Van Damme then goes to the locker, she says, He's uh, running through the uh, through the New York, you know. We saw the crowd, and uh, uh, he goes in the uh, subway station. That was actually filmed in Boston and in New York. They filmed in two locations uh, uh, the, the the chase scene. Eh? Even though there's a stand double, when them and the stand doubles did do a great job, you know. And they they filmed in New York and Boston. And the rest of the movie was actually shot in Canada and in France, Nice and Paris. But the rest uh, scenes are actually more shot in Canada, you know. But uh, they did a great job. And when Dan was running through the subway and uh, he was jumping, you know, he gets chased, the car punches, uh, uh, crashes in the car. When then uh, the stand double falls with the back on the car, that was done for real, you know. And when then gets arrested, but two FBI agents shows up, you know, they actually work with Ivan and they shows up, they bailed Natasha and... Um, 
and uh, they take Natasha and Van Dam uh, in the knees, which they uh, waiting for uh, to the bank open so they get the list. We have a sex scene between Natasha Henstridge and Van Dam. Yes, it has a sex scene. We have nudity. This girl shows her breasts, her sexy tits. Natasha Henstridge tits. That's one one of the reasons why I love this movie. We have a sex scene. Natasha Henstridge with tits. I love the sex scene in the movie. You know, and they go uh, to this uh, bank, and Van Damme, he goes, um, uh, he goes himself, and uh, gets to, um, to post, uh, to, he, uh, he gets the, um, um, to, uh, he, he actually, um, <clears throat> he actually gets, uh, he actually gets um, in the post, you know, um, to, I don't know how you call it, but to, he gets like to, um, on the bus, you know, in the bank, uh, in the door, he gets like, uh, he, in the safe, he gets like uh, two safes and uh, he finds all the evidence to bury Russian mafia. And that time when I saw that, I said, bury the fuckers, you know. <laughs> I said to myself, and then bury the fuckers, just like Mel Gibson in Little Weapon, let's bury the fuckers. And he also finds a proof that um, Mikhail Suvarel found out through the newspaper that when he saw when them when when them's uh, face you know that he was in army as a marksman that he uh, when he found out he tried he left uh, he left the Russian mafia and he wants to be reunited with his brother but Sally never came to you know and uh, yeah and the money he said the money is for you and for the for mother I tell her I never I never blame her what she done. Um, he tried, you know, Mikhail Suvarev was looking for Alan in Nice, but he, but he got chased by those two FBI agents and gets killed, you know. He tried to be a good guy, and I love Van Damme's character like that. He tried to be a good guy, and they're both good guys, you know, and see Van Damme being crying. This is actually one of his serious roles, but also he cries, you know, Van Damme in this movie, more emotional. And uh, just like in Kickboxer and Van Damme, you know, uh, he grabs a gun, you know, Beretta 9mm, and um, so uh, he he gives the evidence to bury, uh, to bury the FBI agents and the Russian Mafia uh, to the bank teller, tells him, bring this to the uh, embassy, you know, and uh, of course uh, the bank teller gets killed. And then that makes a diversion with Kaogumi and, uh, and the smoke, you know, to uh, open the smoke det detectors. And when them, you know, he goes um, like a badass, you know, uh, he he goes um, <clears throat> after this guy, he 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 chases this guy, um, red face. They they fight each other in the elevator. And that's a great fight scene. You know, the the guy was like joking when them, and when them grabs a knife, stabs him in the in, in the leg, you know, right in the foot. He stabs him and grabs the knife and stabs him a few times, you know. And when they showed up in the, when they actually showed up in the elevator, you know, when them identifies himself as a police officer, when the car shows up, and also when them sees that his friend Sebastian is actually in the van, been, um, he's actually been uh, uh, as a hostage, and then cops surrounded the the, the van, and uh, they start firing uh, at them, and when them, you know, who goes from the from, from the um, from the van, and that's actually my personal favorite scene of this film. He grabs the gun, aim, uh, he reloads, and he aims with one, with, uh, and he aims with the gun, and pew, pew, with one shoot, one shot, hits the guy right in the, in the eye, right in the eye, you know, in the van, the drive right in the eye, pew, right in the eye, shot him bloody. That's my favorite scene. You know, and <laughs> I think that the then the, I think the oh, there's like another explosion, um, and Van Dam goes, you know, <laughs> uh, goes tries to save uh, his friend Sebastian. This guy even uh, says, you know, uh, me first, and Sebastian goes kicks the guy's ass, grabs him, throws him in the car. Van Dam with the gun, pew, in the, in the face, you know, and the guy falls down and says Sebastian, the guy keeps begging for his life, you know. I said, you deserve it. You, you, you killed people, you killed that, you killed your own boss who was unarmed 
uh, half naked, unarmed, and you went and shoot him, serves you right, you deserve it, you know. You deserve to, to blow to pieces and the, the van blows, the guy is dead. Even Ivan dies, you know, he, he gets blown to pieces, he deserves it, you know. And uh, when them uh, run some food and ask people, uh, one of the people, uh, the guy says, don't shoot, you know, the civilian says, don't shoot. One guy says, no, uh, where they went and they showed him, when them goes there, uh, grabs the car um, and they, uh, he, uh, he makes the, 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 those two FBI agents are now hunting him. They actually uh, landed in this uh, meat locker, in the, in, in, uh, in the meat locker. And like when them, you know, uh, aims once again, fires his marks and once again fires and the guy hits him right in the shoulder, right in the in the chest near shoulder, you know, and wounds him. And the guy uses then a chainsaw, tries to stab Van Dam with a chainsaw, you know, and Van Dam goes and you know, how did how did Stanman do that? But goes on the legs, you know, um he ties himself on the legs and, and Van Dam or, or Stanman grabs the gun and fires him right in the legs and the guy goes, you know, on the peak and, and cuts the peak, you know. Of course, both agents are alive. And that's, I don't know how that do that, you know, but the guy tries to stab Van Damme with a chainsaw, just like in a horror film. And I just love that scene. But my favorite scene was when Van Damme uh, aims with, the, with his uh, Beretta 9mm gun, fires and shoots the guy in the eye. That's my favorite scene. That was always my favorite scene. And on the end, you know, uh, it's over when them, um, when them is reunited with Alex and Natasha Henstrich, so they actually, you know, so they actually, um, so they actually found, uh, so they actually, um, Alex, she meets, uh, uh, the mother of, uh, uh, Mikhail, you know, and the movie actually ends. And I do really like this film. This is one of my top 10 favorite films, you know, it's one of my top 10 favorite films of Van Damme, Van Damage. Maximum risk is vintage Van Dam or more Van Damage, you know. Maximum, maximum risk is vintage Van Damage. Love this movie, you know. Maximum risk is vintage Van Dam. I love this movie to death. I love this movie. Always have enjoyed. Always was my favorite. My mom bought me the VHS on my um, because I asked her on my um, um, on on my request, and I got this from Maximum Risk. It's fantastic. It's awesome. I love Maximum Risk. Love this movie to death. Um, yeah, it was actually the first direct to video world, but not a bad one. It's a good movie. It's a, it's a fun movie. It's enjoyable. I just love this film. Why can't I get this, uh, this kind of movies, you know? I want to get uh, this kind of movies back, you know? I think it was... I love that it's dark. I love that this movie is dark. I love the sex scenes. The, we have like two, three explosions. We have a car chases, food chases, martial arts. Uh, 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 a fake Asian tries to stab Van Damme with a mo with a chainsaw. Um, when 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 Damme, you know, kills the guy with with his guy in the face. I love that, you know. Or when them uses the mirror, kicks the guy's face, kicks the guy's ass. I love that. I love those kind of movies. And this is is my movie, Maximum Risk. Fuck. Sudden Death, how to dig this movie anytime, anywhere. It's my top 10 favorite Van Damme movie. I love this movie. Love Natasha Henstridge. You know. Anyway, yeah, that's my movie review on Maximum Risk. Stay tuned for Double Team, which I'm gonna review next for Van Damme. Anyway, um, yeah, even tough is World Domination. This, this kind of movies that I love. This, those kind of my movies. So, I'm out. Peace, take care. See you in the next video.